The city in this court challenge characterizes the takeover as unfair and politically motivated. However, the MDE secretary told lawmakers during a briefing it's a temporary takeover for a long-lasting makeover at this facility. In their court challenge to the state takeover, the Back River Wastewater Treatment Plant, city officials contend it's unfair and politically motivated. In the motion filed Friday, the city is asking a circuit court judge to declare the MDE secretary's emergency order unlawful, unreasonable, and not necessary for the protection of the public health or comfort. The recent pronouncements about the quality of treated effluent coming from Baltimore's Back River plant has implied untreated sewage being discharged in Back River. This is not the case. Dip a clear bowl into the effluent of Back River, pulled it up, and it was clear as your normal drinking water. The state takeover of the facility took place following an inspection by MDE March 22nd. It came back shocking. All the warning signals were going off. The detailed inspection report we had showed we needed to take immediate action. City attorneys argue the takeover could hurt rather than help get the plant back in compliance with state law. The motion calls the initial 48-hour timeline to resolve issues impossibly short. From the very onset, the city of Baltimore primary objective has been and will always remain optimizing performance at Back River and Potassium treatment plant. DPW acknowledges the agency remains short-staffed and there's an equipment supply chain issue. The city says it submitted a plan of action to MDE back in September of 2021, indicating it would take months to resolve the issues. This is the first time I am hearing that our timeline is too long. MDE says based on the last inspection, the agency believes a temporary strike force was necessary to get the facility back into compliance. The timeline for compliance, we made it very clear, was not adequate. Uh, we knew that we needed to bring the facility into compliance uh, much sooner than those timelines. No date on when the motion will be heard. The state will issue a report June 6th outlining immediate steps that need to be taken to bring this plant into compliance. Reporting from Dundalk, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.